Hello and welcome back to 5 Minute Materials, the show where we demystify every node in the Unreal Engine Material Graph. Today we're going to be looking at the Fresnel node. So, what is the Fresnel? Uh, it's very commonly mispronounced as Fresnel. If we just chuck this into the base and emissive color, no matter what angle I look at this sphere, it, it has, you know, this sort of halo around it. Now, if I was to go ahead and change this to a cube, you'll see that it doesn't really have that outline around it. Um, but if we look at this from an angle, it's white. And if we look at it dead on, it's black. So what is actually going on here? If we look in paint and I grab my trusty old crayon and we take this sphere, for example, uh, we're going to look at it in a two dimensional view first. If this is our camera over here, so when the normal of the object is dead on with the camera, it will return zero. But this angle here will return one because it is at a right angle to the camera's normal. Down here also returns one and the backside would return, well, you never see the backside. So nobody knows. It remains a mystery to everyone on the earth. So how can we use this to effect? Well, a really common use for a Fresnel is to use it in the alpha of a lerp, not a kerp, linear interpolate. We plug that into the alpha, we go into the base color and we get like two colors and we just go ahead and we plug them into here. You'll see that the edges around it are, you know, a cool different color. This is kind of the effect that you'd see in Dark Souls with the phantoms and stuff. They have a Fresnel effect that is like red or depending on what kind of phantom they are. So you can change what the sort of intensity of the effect is with the exponent value. Um, if it's infinity, then it will be all A, all zero. And as you bring it down to zero, it will become all B or one, this one. Another cool thing about this node is that it uses the pixel normal in its calculation. So if we were to put a normal map in here, you'll see that the effect is, uh, it's sort of the same, but you've got these bumps in it, which are acting, you know, in a, in a specific way. And as we turn it up and down, you can see it's a lot more sort of broken up. It's not smooth anymore. And that's because it is returning the normal of each pixel of the normal map rather than the vertex normal, which if you need to know about vertex normal, I have a link to a video right here. So another cool way to use Fresnel node, if we were to turn our material from opaque to translucent, and then in the translucency section here, we're going to click surface translucency volume, and we're gonna lerp between one and 1.5 or actually no, I think it's 1.52 for glass and our opacity is at zero. We click save and you'll see that all of a sudden we have refraction. You can see the edges of the, the ball it makes it look like it's made of glass or, you know, water or anything like that. And the cool thing about using this because we're using the Fresnel, we can plug something into the normal slot, like our, our rock texture from before we have a, a very rough looking glass because the Fresnel uses the, the pixel normal rather than the vertex normal. Very cool effect, very handy for, you know, making cool materials, basically. I use this a lot. You could also plug the Fresnel into the opacity so that the edges become colored or, you know, opaque, which can make it look a bit more cloudy, I guess. Very, very neat effect. Um, another thing that you could use the Fresnel for, in this material that I use, um, you can see as I look at it from a shallow angle, it's that sort of bright blue, baby blue color, that icy color. But then as I look at it from above, it goes dark blue and you can see all the effects underneath it. You know, we've got the, the lost souls and the, the stars underneath. But as I go shallower and shallower, they all disappear. So that's just using a Fresnel that basically multiplies these effects by zero as it approaches this angle. So you can't see them at all here. And then as we look at it from this angle, you can see it all looking very, very spooky. So it's useful for things like you can plug a Fresnel into your water surface because water tends to be 
see through from above, but then as you look at it on the side, it becomes, you know, you see its color uh, and also the reflection of the sky and that kind of thing. So you could plug the Fresnel into the opacity of your water shader or something like that. So that's about it for the Fresnel node. So to reiterate, what the Fresnel node does is it returns a value between zero and one based on the pixel normal of the object that the camera is viewing relative to the camera's angle. So on a sphere, the middle point will be zero because that's looking straight at the camera. But this point up here will return one because it's facing 90 degrees away from the camera. So I hope you found this educational and entertaining. And as always, I'd love if you could hit like and subscribe. And if you've got any weird tricks that you use the Fresnel node in, please drop it in the comments below because I'd love to hear about it and I think everyone else would. If you need any help with Unreal related things, join our Discord full of lovely people. You can get your questions answered 24-7 all around the clock. We've got people all around the world in there. And if you really, really enjoy what we do here on the channel, don't be afraid to check out our Patreon, which I will link in the schneebel. So with that, we say goodbye. Bye. Bye, girl. Goodbye.